Hey guys, uh, today I'm talking about the movie X-Men Apocalypse. I saw it yesterday and yeah, I'm going to do a small review. Not so small, I bet I'm going to be like 15 minutes, but whatever. Uh, so I saw the movie yesterday, I uploaded the poster somewhere around me. And yeah, I, I mean, I had uh, read a bunch of reviews before and uh, I got the sense, the feeling that people hadn't liked the movie yet and it was like, huh, that's very, very curious, there must, something, there must be something really wrong with the movie for people not to like it, uh, or for um, critics not to like it. So I just watched the movie, um, I watched it uh, yesterday night, finally, and I realized I don't know what the hell people are thinking, <laughs> because I really liked it, I really, really like it. I'm going to say it's not as good as some, not all, but some of the movies that Marvel, uh, you know, uh, Disney with Marvel has released. I mean, uh, movies like uh, The Avengers, the first one, or Captain, Win Captain America the Winter Soldier. Those are very, very good movies. I mean, uh, Winter Soldier was just amazing and the performances were great the effects, everything was really, really great, the, the story was really compelling. And X-Men Apocalypse is not that good, but it's not really bad at all. Uh, it's not as good as other X-Men movies like First Class or Days of Future Past or even X-Men United, which is one of my favorite movies. So I don't think it's as good as that, but it doesn't really need to be. And it's a different kind of movie, I feel, because uh, people, uh, because in the last two uh, X-Men movies, uh, there have been about, you know, children basically uh, trying to grow up and, and 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 assuming these powers. I mean, yes, there are some adults, uh, the professor and others, but they are really young and they're really uh, immature still, and and and, and and even the villains and everything are kind of immature too, too. They, they don't really know what they're doing and they're all over the place and this one they are too but at the end you feel like they have matured they are really grown-ups now and that and if they do a four a fourth uh, X-Men movie in this uh, like new time set uh, it's going to be really really different than the three movies that uh, were before uh, X, X Men, X Men, X Men United, and X Men: uh, The Last Stand. So uh, first, the screenplay. I thought the screenplay had some flaws. There, there were some lines here and there. There were some plot elements that were like, like you don't you didn't really understand when they, where they came from. Like they just happened to be there. I you, you just had to uh, accept it. And that's fine because it's a comic book movie and you have to accept a certain amount of things in order to believe the whole movie. Because if you don't believe anything, it's not a movie for you. You, you would just complain all the movie like, that doesn't happen, that's unreal. And you have to uh, give a little bit in order to receive from a movie like that. It, and it works in every... Uh, uh, every single one of these movies, whether it's from DC, from Marvel, uh, or from Fox. In this, I had uh, some problems with the screenplay, but to be honest, I know this may piss off some people. I actually thought it was better than... the screenplay was better than the one from Batman v Superman. With Batman v Superman, I had a huge problem, which is that the whole... I would say that the first two acts are extremely flawed. The, the, the screenplay is just ridiculous and you don't buy anything. I mean, even if you concede some little things here and there in order to uh, accept like, oh yes, it's Superman and Batman, you're like, okay, let's just accept these things and try to get on with it. You just couldn't because there were some things that were just too ridiculous to even uh, accept like Lex Luthor and uh, I, I don't know but, uh, everything that happens with Lois Lane is just ridiculous and and, and the moms uh, that's I mean the the, the the screenplay was so stupid in that movie that that's what made it made, made it uh, a really bad movie 
not really bad. I mean, it wasn't that bad, to be honest, to be, to be fair. I mean, I really enjoyed the last act of Batman v Superman. It was really well done. And I just thought, oh my god, why couldn't the rest of the movie be like that? And in this case, in X-Men Apocalypse, the, the screenplay really doesn't do that. At the start, it's a little bit rocky. Like, you're like, oh, okay, this doesn't really make sense. This scene here, okay. But then you have scenes like the one with Quicksilver. That are ju I mean, that scene is just the best. I mean, if you had doubts about the movie, on, uh, when you see that scene, you're like, okay, I'm sold. I'm, I'm going to be here admiring this piece of art basically because it's really a great scene given to a really great character uh, performed uh, done by a really great actor I mean Evan Peters hasn't really done much I, I have never really seen American Horror Story but that's the only like big thing he has been in and I don't know why because he's really really good he's really funny he can be uh, dramatic he can be comedic so, I mean, give the man a job, I mean, he's really, really good, and, and he's really funny, and that scene is just perfect. That, that, mean, that scene set it up, set everything up really nicely. Um, then it's, uh, as far as other characters, I really like that they uh, went a little bit further with Professor X. I mean, they give him back uh, a love interest, which is great, with Moria McTaggart, who wasn't really a CIA agent in the comic books, but whatever, um, or in the animated series. So, I'm fine with that. That's one of the things that you're like, okay, let's pass it up. And I really like that, and they really gave him space. I, I mean, it's really about him and about him, like, realizing what he can do and what he has to do to uh, achieve his goal, which is uh, that mutants and humans could be uh, could live uh, together in harmony, and that's why at the end of the movie, spoiler alert, uh, I mean uh, spoiler alert over everything, but um, that's why at the end of the movie he creates the X Men, and that uh, leads me to another character, which is Mystique, and I know many people don't like Mystique in this uh, universe because she's really like leading character. She's like the leading lady of the X-Men. And she wasn't the leading lady of the X-Men back in the first three movies, and she wasn't the leading in the comic books or in the animated series, although she always had a very important role to play. And she has a very important role to play here, which is that she is the hero of all the mutants. She, she was the one that uh, was the best the best one in the bunch and, and, and practically defeated Magneto and make, it made everyone realize that mutants are not so bad which was fucked up in this movie because now everyone is scared again of mutants because of apocalypse so I mean that's great because it has consequences and that's another thing I really liked about the story is that it has consequences people actually are killed people die people disappear people uh, pe uh, there are, there are things that happen to people and there are consequences to them it's not like in a story again but like in Batman v Superman a bunch of people are killed and no one really gives a fuck and, and and at the end oh Superman dies but no one cares because everyone knows that he's coming back so it's not like oh my god Superman no you don't really feel like that at the end of the movie you're like ah oh, he's going to be back he's Superman come on so, you don't really worry. And in this movie, you do worry sometimes because it's like, oh my god, how are they going to get away from this? Because Apocalypse is it's, 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 it's such a powerful force. And it's kind of sad that, sorry, EG, it's kind of sad that he's not um, really uh, taking, uh, I, mean, I mean, they don't really take a chance with him. And I think they could have done a much better better things with the character than what they did in this movie. They played him as some kind of cult leader, which he is, but I think it could have been more uh, grand, more more uh, evil, more, more of him, you know? He could have been much more interesting. But he wasn't that bad, and the uh, sequence at the, at the beginning with, uh, in Egypt was just great. I mean, I, I, that was perfect, perfectly done. 
and the way he died in the hands or wings, as we could say, of uh, the phoenix was really interesting. Now, again, the phoenix is not played as in the comic books as it was in the first three X-Men movies, which is fine. I mean, I would have loved to see the story that we saw in the comic books and in the animated series, but that's just me, maybe, or... I don't know, I would have loved to see that, but okay. Let's just, see, let's just say that the Phoenix has always been sad Jean Grey, and that's great. I think uh, her performance was fine, uh, the one from uh, Sophie Turner. And yeah, I mean, you, we only know her from uh, a couple of minor movies, and from Game of Thrones, in which she's... Uh, I mean, I mean, she's good as uh, uh, Sansa, but you think it's... Uh, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think it's just me, but I want Sansa to die finally in the next season because she's really annoying. But that's another story. Uh, yeah, I, I really loved most of the characters. Like, I mean, it's really tragic what happens to Magneto, although I think it's, like, too much. And I actually think that if they do an, uh, uh, another X-Men movie, I do think that they shouldn't bring Magneto back. Because he's, uh, I mean, just leave it alone. Just leave it th at that, let him just, like, sit one out, at least. And, and yeah, I mean, engage with other um, evil, I mean, ev evil things. I mean, some people have said that they are interested in bringing... I don't remember, Proteus, I think it is, Proteus, Proteus, I don't know how to say it, but that's the son of Maura McTaggart, and she did mention the son in the movie, so that would be so interesting if they explored that part, and uh, the professor being in love with her and everything, that would be really, really interesting, uh, instead of going again with Magneto and all that. What else could I tell you about this movie? I just think you should see it, I don't... I mean, I saw it on my computer, but um, I don't think it's really a great uh, 3D movie if you get into that. I mean, there are some scenes that are very 3D oriented, but not really that, that much the, the same that in most movies. And I don't know, I'm not really a 3D fan except for maybe in animated movies, but maybe. I mean, if you like that, maybe you could try it. I don't think it's... It's like in Harry Potter. I watched Harry, one of the Harry Potter films in 3D and it was the most ridiculous thing ever because there were, like, some things doing this and that was it. So, yeah. Uh, I really like this movie. I really like the characters. I mean, I'm a huge uh, X-Men fan. I love the X-Men. I mean, people love Captain America and Iron Man and Batman and Superman. And I actually love Batman, too. But I have a special place in my heart for the X-Men because of what they represent and uh, I, I think they are they, they, I hope they do another one and that they continue with this I wouldn't like Marvel to have the rights for the X-Men I wouldn't like that at all or for Deadpool to be honest I think Fox did a great thing with Deadpool I think they are going to do a great thing with Deadpool and Cable in the next uh, movie I do think they did kind of good things with Wolverine, and the Wolverine scene was amazing, by the way, I almost forgot. Although, it was a little bit creepy when he was face to face with Jean Grey, and you know that they are going to be together in the future. Even if, I, I know, we know that Wolverine is like a hundred years old by, that, by then, but it's creepy, nevertheless. So, so yeah, but it's funny to know that they found each other in that place where they're, where she's going to die in the future. If the future hasn't really been totally reset, who, who knows. I mean, die for the first time because then she dies again, but whatever. Uh, I hope that changed. I, I think that changed uh, with the events of Days of Future Past. So, uh, yeah, I really like that movie. I hope you can see it. Uh, if you have, uh, you can uh, get it by streaming, and I think in a week it will be out uh, for Blu-ray and DVD, so get that, because I really recommended it. I recently rewatched also uh, Civil War, Captain America Civil War, I really liked it. I didn't like it as much as I, when I saw it in the theater, so I don't know why, but it's a really solid movie nevertheless. 
and uh, yeah, I haven't really watched anything else recently. I'm not interested in watching Suicide Squad, maybe when it will be available for streaming or Blu-ray or whatever, but I don't really, I'm not really interested in Suicide Squad, like, at all. I am, no, uh, not even the Joker does it for me. For me, the Joker will be, will always be Heath Ledger, and I know that's stupid. But, sorry, I mean, I'm, I'm there, I'm not interested in Harley Quinn, I'm not interested in uh, anything that Suicide Squad has to offer. However, I will be watching, I, I know I will be going to the theaters next year to watch Wonder Woman, because I really love the character, and maybe Justice League, maybe. I'm not really sold on the Justice League thing, I, I don't, I, it's, it's still... Uh, uh, I don't know how that that's going to go, but uh, maybe I will be watching in theaters. Who knows? Uh, same for I mean, probably I will go to see Spider Man. I want to see Doctor Strange because I don't really know that much about the character, and it may be interesting. Uh, Thor Ragnarok is expected to be really good. I think it will be very, very surprisingly good. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. I mean, it's fine. I mean, I didn't find it as amazing as most people did, but it was a good movie, and I think that we'll be having a second, a great second movie, and what else is going to come out next year? Uh, of course, Star Wars. Uh, I'm going to, I, I'm sure I'm going to buy that ticket for Rogue One. I don't care what anyone's saying right now, eh, the reshoots and the things, and some people on, in Disney said this, and others said that, and I don't fucking care. I'm going to see that movie in theaters. And also, of course, episode 8 in a year from now, which is insane. I'm, 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 I'm really, I'm, I think I have seen The First Awakens like six times by now, so it's, it's really crazy, but yeah. That was my review for X-Men Apocalypse. If you have any more questions, you can write, uh, write it down in the comments, because I think I missed a lot of things from the movie, but in all fairness, I just really like that movie. It has some flawed uh, uh, spaces, uh, points. But it, all in all, I really liked it. I was really sold by some scenes like the Quilk silver, silver scene, like the Phoenix scene, like, uh, I mean, the, 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 the way they play the, the, some of the characters, they did some great things with them, with uh, the Professor, and, and partly with Magneto, and with Jean Grey, with Cyclops, I think it was a great introduction to him. And yeah, let's hope that they do another one, uh, and they are going to release Wolverine 3 next year. I, I, I was forgetting, forgetting about that one. So yeah, uh, and the final scene, the, the credit scene with the XX Corporation, which reminds us of Mr. Sinister, who's called the Nathaniel X Essex. Uh, that scene has to uh, a lot to do with that Wolverine movie, not with the next. X-Men uh, movie, so that will be pretty interesting one, because what are they doing with the blood of Wolverine? Uh, it's really interesting, I haven't read anything in the comic books about it, so I think it's going to be really fun. And that's w the last time we're, we're, we are going to see um, Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, so that will be sad and interesting and fun also. So yeah, this is my review, I hope you liked it. And this is it for today. Thank you so much. Bye.